is the vice chair of diversity outreach for the Trump campaign, Brunel Donald Che. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So Donald Trump set out these diversity outreach programs. How did you get involved? Um, basically, I uh, got in contact with Michael Cohen, who is the special counsel to Mr. Donald Trump. And I informed him that I would like to help out with the outreach for not just minorities, but for women, for Hispanics, for Asians, for Arabs, for everyone to uh, learn about this candidate. You know, he talked about jobs and improving communities and national security, tougher immigration, schools, everything. If you're an American, you are concerned about. It doesn't matter that you're black or white or purple. I always tell people when ISIS straps on their bombs, they don't say, hey, let the white, let the black person walk by, let the Hispanic walk by, and then blow the white guy up. No, they say, I'm going to blow up Americans. They see us as Americans. That's and the sooner we, we see each other that way, the but better. What do you say to people who are concerned about his comments about Mexicans are rapists mm -hmm. or the president's birth certificate or m Muslims shouldn't be allowed in the country? How do you address that? What I would that? say is that illegal, you know, legal immigrants are tired of fighting illegal immigrants for jobs, just like Americans are tired of fighting illegal immigrants for jobs. Every good Muslim, I don't know one good Muslim who has a problem with Donald Trump saying a radical Islamic terrorist because they are sick and tired of the stain that comes on the religion when you have this minority, this few that's, that's ruining it all for the entire religion. That's the same thing as far as with black people. You, all black people aren't bad. We all work. We, we do what we're supposed to do. But you have pockets in our communities that are shooting people right here in Chicago. 3,600 dead in the black community. And so we have got to be concerned um, about one another. And what Donald Trump is saying is, look, I want to be the president of the United States. I don't want to be the president of black America, white America. So you'd want to see stop and frisk America. on the south and west side? Stop and frisk is already on the south side and the west side of Chicago. I'm in the courtroom every single day. And most, of, a lot of my clients that come in have been stopped and frisked. And they found guns or drugs or whatever. And some of them, they were innocent. Don't get me wrong. But um, that's going on every single day. What we need is for the, the people in these violent communities need jobs. We know that when Americans are at work, who has time to think about crime when you're at work? We know that the devil's workshop is idle hands. And so what, we, what Donald Trump is saying, look, his best answer is, I want to bring jobs. Let me do it for you. Best debate line? Democrats care about the inner city when it's election time. After election time, what do you get? Zero. What was her response? Quiet. Why? Because that is the truth. He told the unadulterated truth. And even though people don't want to hear the truth, the truth is bitter, but we have to swallow it. The Democratic Party, I voted for over 20 years of my life. I voted for Barack Obama when he said he was going to bring hope and change. And yes, we can. And no, we didn't. The jobs didn't come. The better schools didn't come. The investment in our communities did not come. National security, our borders are open. We're not safe. We're not safe. And we've got to stop thinking as black and white and purple and Arab. We've got to start thinking as Americans. And that's what Donald Trump is saying. We're Americans. America first. So do you think he won over people last night? I do. I believe that people who are looking at the issues and not just emotionally voting, it's, you know, based on I don't like what he said, I don't like what he did, neither candidate's perfect. But you've got to look at the candidate that is saying, look, jobs, national security, tougher immigration, education. We need to stop being screwed on these trade deals. We are getting screwed. Let's get people in there who know more about money that can fix this $19 trillion debt. That's what people have to be concerned with as Americans, not Democrat, not Republican, as now, Americans. Thank you for joining us this Thank morning. you so much for having me. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Make America great again. Make America great again. Make America great again. Make America great again.